Today I want to sit down with all of you and be completely honest and clarify some things, get some things out there, and just kind of clear the air and shoot the shitter and uh, start fresh. That's basically what the aim of this video is. Uh, I first want to answer some questions that I'm sure a lot of you guys have been wanting to know answers to that I haven't really said anything about. Uh, but I've kind of wanted to wait until I felt comfortable enough to actually discuss this topic. Now, we've been going through quite a bit of changes, and we've been going through changes, man, so many of them for like the last like year and a half. We've had a total identity crisis, like as a channel, uh, finding ourselves kind of like, I don't know, I feel like, I don't know, hitting this 30-something year old stage right now, I feel like I, maybe I hit some type of weird midlife crisis. We'll call it a YouTube crisis, okay? We'll call it a YouTube crisis. That's, that's what we'll call it. After being around for so long, you realize certain things and you also uh, kind of come full circle on things and you also learn and you grow. And that is the point that we're at right now. We've been in the YouTube game for long enough to realize that in the end, the only people that needs to really be happy, honestly, is ourselves. Because, okay, th this is the thing. We're here to please all of you watching right now. That is, that's pretty much our number one objective is to entertain. But in the same sense, when we're making these videos day after day and spending hour after hour and sacrificing our time to do these videos for you guys that are watching, it can get kind of tiresome and some things can get very, very repetitive and some things we can completely lose our interest in. And that's what's happened with a lot of things that we've done. We've lost our interest in them. We've grown up, we've grown past that. And we just plain and simply don't want to do it anymore. So number one today, I'm going to let the cat out of the bag. Uh, we are retiring. We are done with Toys to Life. Uh, the only thing that could save us or, or make us come back to Toys to Life is this. It would pretty much basically end up being Light Seekers. That's where I would put everything at, honestly. Um, there's some things that I don't think are the greatest about it because of the fact that it's still mobile and I'm more of a console guy or a, a PC guy, per se. Um, so that aspect of it is a little bit kind of, it's kind of got me uh, on the on the, on the the fence. That's the best way to put it. I'm on the fence about it because it's mobile. Uh, it's There's not a PC version released. There's not a PS4 version or anything that's uh, releasing or Nintendo Switch. And that kind of troubles me a little bit because I know for the most part, a lot of mobile games aren't the greatest. Um, I'm sick of the wishy-washiness of Skylanders. like, And I'm sick of the repetitiveness. And I just want to let that out there. I'm sick of the same gameplay mechanics game after game. I'm sick of Activision not listening to a damn thing that anybody says. Everybody tells them to do a certain thing that the general consensus wants, but yet they still don't listen. So, you know what? I am done supporting a company or a person that can't get it right. They, they, they're in it for the big bucks. And you know what? That's not even what I'm into YouTube for. I, I, I'm not, I'm not gonna lie. I lost my way, and that's why I've come full circle. I was making some decent money on a lot of my videos, and I was making a decent paycheck from month to month from YouTube. And that's where I kind of lost it at a little bit as well, because I saw that this was working and I really studied my analytics and this and that. And I knew what worked and what didn't work. And I knew where to uh, focus my attention at and focus the main point of my videos. And but the thing is, is that doing that, I lost myself at the same time. Like I felt like I kind of sold out. And that's not what my intention ever was when I started YouTube. And by doing that, I, I didn't realize it for a long time until the money started dropping for us and uh, things didn't work quite well and the subscribers weren't going up so fast anymore. You know, there's like one year we gained like, I want to say like five or 6,000 subscribers in a year or, or something like that. And now it's only been like a thousand or 2,000, something like that, which that's awesome. That's really, really cool. And 
the thing is though is that i don't want to spend all that time studying all that i've got too busy of a life to even be able to do that i work number one i'm working 50 plus hours a week at my real job then I've got another real job at home, and that's to be a father and to be a husband to my family and also take care of my animals and to have some fun in real life. So the actual reality of it is, is this is another thing that I'm, I'm getting at. And this is why I've, I've been so wishy-washy and bipolar and this and that when it comes to the videos and YouTube. And I finally, finally realized what it is. You know what it was? I... Number one was pushing myself too hard. Number two, I lost my way. And number three, I became consumed with YouTube. Uh, and I forgot about everything else, everything else that was important to me. And within the last month, I've really started to realize all that. And it struck me. And when it struck me, it struck me hard. And I don't know how else to explain it to you. But what it's done is it's transformed my way of thinking of what it is that I am on YouTube for and what it is that I want to do on YouTube. Uh, number one, I want to be true to myself and to my family and to everyone else. I don't want to, I don't want to sugar, I don't want to puss foot it. Like I don't want to, I don't want to be fake. Okay. I don't want to be that fake person out there that you think is telling you the truth, but we're actually, they're actually feeding you lies about something. I also don't want to follow in anybody's footsteps. I don't want to follow what might be the most trending thing or, uh, or follow what might be the popular thing at the moment or something that somebody else has done. I don't want to do that. That's, that's not my forte. It's not my cup of tea. It's not where I want to be. I started YouTube and we started YouTube to be creators and to be ourselves and to have fun as a family unit, period. That's all there is to it. And that's what I intend on this channel being, uh, just fun and being creative. And I want to be the trendsetter. I don't want to be the person that follows in somebody else's footsteps. I started YouTube to create because I felt like I was a creator. And that's exactly what I intend on doing going forward. Caden's growing up. His taste in games have changed. We, this is, we get this daily, daily questions about this. When are you going to create another Skylanders character? When are, are, are you going to still play some more Disney Infinity? Uh, Terraria, are you guys going to do Terraria? The fact of the matter is, is that we're all growing up past that and we've played it so much, it's gotten boring and it's something that we don't want to do. And that's why we've started playing different games, uh, games, some games that nobody's ever heard of because they're fun. Uh, they're, they're different. They're innovative. They're creative. We can be the ones that control our destiny with that. And not to mention some of the games we don't have to put our full attention to because a lot of good things, they come and they go. And when a good thing comes that you really, really like goes and it's done and it's no more. It creates sadness and it creates anarchy and chaos and you start wondering what the hell are you going to do next. So I don't want to put all my eggs in one basket either per se. Um, another thing is, is that like we're still going to do our live streams and we're still going to do our gameplays. But the thing is, is we're going to be ourselves. That's all there is to it. Uh, I'm parent. I, I know I've got to watch what I say with certain things, but in the same sense, I am an adult. I'm a human being. Uh, number one, I make mistakes. We all make mistakes. And number two, I'm not going to hold back anymore. I'm not going to be that person that, how do you put this? We're not going to be those people that are faking everything. That's that's just the best way to put it. We're, we are not fake. Okay, what you see here is exactly what you're going to get in every single video. It's There's going to be some dry humor. There's going to be some really funny humor and off the top moments. There's going to be some energy exerted and all the right places when it needs to be. But in the same sense, if we don't like something, you're either not going to see, you're going to see us play it once and that's it. Or 
we're just not going to play it at all because it was just trash. That's all there is to it. Uh, there will be repetitive things that we do uh, because it's something that we're interested in at, at the time. But those interests change. Just like the day changes, just like every minute changes, just like every second, there can be something different happening. Uh, so that's just us. And I don't know how else to explain that to anybody else. Um, wow. I've got a lot to get off. I felt, I have not felt more happy and more relieved about doing YouTube in more than a couple of years, honestly. Within this last month, I have felt so much of a weight drawn off my shoulder that that it's just awesome. I'm not even gonna lie. I within the last month or two, I have seriously contemplating on quitting YouTube altogether. Like I, I just didn't really want to do it because I felt like, you know what, I was letting I wasn't really letting myself down, but I was letting my family down. And I wasn't uh, there like I needed to be. There was a lot of things that I missed out on because I put, I felt like I started to put YouTube first. And that was bad. And again, like I said, I kind of lost my way of certain things. But now here we are, here we stand. And what I'm saying is this. You're going to see the real genuine us and it's for the most part going to be what you've seen day to day on a daily basis when we produce videos but some of the language is going to change a little bit it's going to be a little bit more grown up it's going to be a little bit more fun it's going to be a little bit i'm going to take more risks because i'm a risk taker and i like doing new things and pushing the boundaries and seeing what it is that i can get away with and what i can't get away with because you know what in all honesty when I take a risk, I find it to be so much fun because it's something that I know not really anybody else has done, nor have I even done it or attempted it myself. So it's a lot of fun. I get a rise off of that. That's what's fun. And to see what takes place from it is fun for me. I, I find that fun and entertaining. And uh, just being able to be myself is the biggest weight off my shoulders. Like I feel fantastic for being able to do that. And there are going to be days where like, okay, let's say for instance, like yesterday I did four videos because you know what? I had the time to do four videos. We weren't doing anything else and we felt like doing the videos. So it happened. But there's going to be days, there might be even a week where I don't post anything because I'm too damn busy to do it. Between work or family affairs or, or whatever it is that's going on. Uh, or it could even be something that's going on with Caden's school or just something in life in general. Could be other family or going on a vacation or whatever. Uh, there's going to be time. Or I might just not even feel like posting a video or doing one. And you know what? Fuck it. I'm not doing it. That's all there is to it. Uh, but when I do feel like posting a video and when we all feel like posting a video, we're going to do it. And that's the way that YouTube should have been for us from the beginning. And our focus is going to be like that from now on. That's that's just all there is to it is we are doing this for us first. And number two, for entertainment for you guys. But we're taking the entertainment in strides. Let's put it like that. The, the entertainment is going to come at, not at our expense. Uh, it's going to come when we can do it, when we feel like doing it. And that's when we'll do our videos. And I'm there, there's probably not going to be a shortage of videos at all. But there are going to be days where we miss. And I had felt bad about that before. When we, we went on vacation this week, okay? I didn't record any videos for our vacation. There's, what, two or three days, I do believe, that there was no videos on our channel. And I even thought about doing a vlog, but you know what? I, I thought to myself, we're, we're doing this for us. We're going to have fun. And that's exactly what we did. We went out and we had fun. We had the best three-day vacation that we've had in long. It, our three-day vacation felt better than a two-week vacation. It felt better than a vacation that we've had in the past 
probably three or four years because we've had to worry about bringing the camera or bringing the laptop and getting this video uploaded and doing this and that. And this time we just had fun and it was great. I loved it and I feel refreshed and I feel reinvigorated and I am pumped about what we're going to be doing from now on going forward. Now, either you can be with me on this or you can be against me. I really don't care. The choice is yours. That's why it's YouTube. Uh, that's it. I think that's about all I've got to say. I let the cat out of the bag. I cleared some things up. Again, uh, I think I started to say it at the beginning of the video, but I didn't really touch base because I started going other places. The only thing, the only game that will bring me back to Toys to Life is Light Seekers. And the reason why it's just Light Seekers is because those guys actually listen and they care. And they're trying to create a product that everyone can enjoy. And because of their passion and because of their willingness to be open about certain things and to also respond to each and every person that has a question about their game, that's amazing in itself. Not to mention the passion that they've already put forth to the community and the questions that they've answered already and the things that they've done to switch and to change to appease certain people. That's awesome. And they're building something great. But that's the only thing that would bring me back, period. Uh, besides that, I'm doing what I want. I'm going to have fun. And we're going to have fun doing it. You can be with us or you can be against us. You can like us. You can hate us. You can like the video. You can dislike the video. You can leave a mean comment down below. And you know what? Even if you leave a mean comment down below, number one, more than likely I won't respond. But if I feel that I need to respond and to clarify something and say, get the hell off my channel then anyways, then so be it. That's just the way it is. I love you all. Thank you so much for coming out and watching the video. I have let the biggest thing off my chest that I've been needing to do for so long. You don't even know. It feels great. And I feel great and I'm happy to make videos again. This is the first time in a long time that I've been happy to make videos and that I've enjoyed making my videos. Peace out and badizzle. Bow, 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 bow. Wow!